Oh boy, am I glad that Junpei decided to come back now. I just realized via practicing that we are one day off of the deadline on one of Elizabeth's requests, so thank goodness we're going to Tartarus now. Yeah, that was a very, very close thing. You'll see once I actually get into the Velvet Room, but yeah, I knew I was cutting it close with one of them, I just didn't realize how close. I had a feeling that one of them was a much earlier deadline, but yeesh, yeah, I was really close with this one. So, yeah. Also, if we quickly... Well, while we're here, we may as well check everyone's status. I was going to originally just show that Fuka has escape route, but anyway. So, Yukari is 55, has Dear Rahan, which is nice. Not against enemies with charm, though. That's really not nice. I guess is 54. I'm going to get Maraku Kaja kind of soon. Mitsuru, also 54. Junpei is only level 52. He needs some major catching up. Akihiko, also 54. Ken, 55. And, oh, Komaru, yeah, uh, 56, nice. And actually pretty close to 57. Mudo Boost is going to be pretty useful. That's actually an FES exclusive skill. In the vanilla version, I've probably said this before, but he got Fire Break. And yes, Fuka now has all of her skills, so experience on her is totally pointless. She'll still be leveling up over the course of the game, but it does absolutely nothing. Anyway, I do have some things that I want to give Junpei, but before then, let's just check something. I'm not actually going to be fusing in here, because there's some fusions that I really want to do, and yes, I am aware, but it doesn't mean anything anymore. These fusions that I want to do, I want Gary Sue to be level 64 for them. And we're one level off of that. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, just a quick check of what we can... There's really not that much we can make here. I mean, Chernobog... Okay, Luxme I might actually need relatively soon. I want to get rid of this throne, but uh, there's not very many good ways to do so. So let's see, I've got three empty slots. If I get rid of Throne, that makes four, and then... Because I'm just also thinking, because there's another Persona that I need, and that would require... Yeah, that requires six empty slots. I'm going to just quickly check which components that I have for that one, actually. Also, a few stat-boosted Personas that I need to register in the Compendium, and a few level-up Personas that I need to register. Yeah, that spell mask is going to be great, but until then, definitely, um, registering Siegfried. Definitely not registering Throne. I've probably already showed this, but here's the Throne that I already have. Yeah, Absorb Wind, I don't want to lose that at all. So, let me just quickly check into the Compendium. How am I with Death Personas? Okay, so I have Ghoul. I was worried that I didn't have Ghoul for a second. One. Oh, I'm only missing, uh, one of them. I'm only missing... Uh, uh, the Beast Eye Spammer, i.e. Mott. So, I need to make Mott, but other than that, I'm set for that one. So now, if we go in here, you'll see why I was so freaked out. Oh, and Shadowhound is the reason why I want to be level 64 soon, because I'll actually be able to do that quite soon. That, I will not be able to do quite soon. And that, I might actually be able to do quite soon. Here we go, yeah. The deadline for this is tomorrow, so, uh, yeah, good thing we're at the right area for this one. And let's see, okay, yeah, I'll do the gold medal one later. And that should be all. So, really not much in the way of Velvet Room action this time. That'll be after we've explored this area. There's two Personas that I can get in Shuffle Time, and together I can actually make Skahar out of them. So, I'll need to be on the lookout for those ones. But anyway, first things first, we're obviously going to bring Junpei. And I've got a special surprise for him. Uh, not the Deathbringer, actually. It is this thing. I forgot that it was this powerful. Yeah. Evade Wind High, and not only that, I also believe I have, wait a minute, are these, uh, that's Evade Strike Medium, I think I have something better. Evade Wind Medium on these Killer Cleats. So yeah, Junpei, you deserve this after, after all that. Seriously, that was amazing. 
almost don't even need the Kaiser armor now. What's that? Oh, plus three agility. Uh, hmm. Do I have anything that's, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna downgrade his armor here. Now let's just see. Ha! Huh. You know, I'm not sure if all of these stack, but it would be amazing if they did. Oh, I do like the magic ring. You know I'm gonna see if those stack. So, gonna get you into the party, and now it's really just uh, between anyone who's level 54, so let me just quickly check over who had the most experience needed to get to the next level. Okay, yeah, it's definitely gonna be Akiko and Mitsuru, because I guess it's pretty much literally right there, so... I want to see if I have anything better for her now that I think about it. Oh, those are both exactly the same. Oh, I think that's fine. I think that's also fine. Ha! I forget, have I shown this before? I don't think I've shown this one. I don't think I've shown that one either, actually. So I guess I could probably show those off. Uh, Vade Strike, Medium... These are the shoes of... Oh, yeah, they're going straight to Yukari, obviously. I don't really have much in the way of evading fire, and I do like that, so, yeah, gonna stick with that then. And then Akihiko, I'm pretty sure I'm fine with his equipment. Gonna, while I'm here, make sure to give Yukari those uh, shoes of Bane. would actually be pretty funny if they were evade fire. And with that, as always, best to save before going in here. In fact, before I do this, at the moment I found that I'm running out of SP a lot more than usual. Now, this did literally save my life earlier, but I'm gonna risk it this time. I'm gonna put the magic ring back on because I really like the extra SP. So, here we go then. Yet another venture into Tartarus. We're actually making some really good progress here, we're at 180 already. And, as Elizabeth's request indicated, and it's a good thing that I accepted that request as well, because it means that the Cupid will actually start dropping the pink feathers, but... There will be new enemies right from the start here. Speaking of new enemies, Mitsuru might just be making a new one after we do this to her. I'm so sorry about this. I forget if I've shown this before, but this is also severely ironic because she's the one who had some, has maids and not the one who is one, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, well, it actually won't because it's worse than what she currently has, but... Uh, Admittedly, it does look kind of good with that rapier out, although it looks like she's trying to stab Garrister with it, which would make perfect sense at this point. So anyway, continuing Disco Rave Land. Don't think we need these Cestus. Crit rate up. Because I do have a second one of these. It's funny, I use fist weapons all the time in my first playthrough, but this one I'm not really liking the range, whereas spears I am actually liking a lot more than I thought I would. So yes, as always, well not as always because last time we didn't get one, but there is going to be a change in enemies now. I do like one-handed swords, they have a good combination of range and uh, kind of power and speed on the field. So, we have the Gracious Cupids. Now, I know exactly what these things are weak to, but I'm not going to use it because it'll wipe them out way too quickly. I want to get the scan through. I'll scan the target. Like all Cupid enemies, they are extremely annoying. Uh, right, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to prepare for their weakness. Even though this really isn't necessary, but it'll be humorous. And yeah, there's Spring of Life. 
yeah, we're actually seeing Tristan Magessis for the first time. So also Mitsuru has a new set of lines because her persona's just upgraded. It's weak against strikes. Hit it. <laughs> I still love that line from Fuka for being just so, so just, I don't know, so blunt. But anyway, uh, yes, they are weak against strike attacks, null ice, and as always, they can heal and be really annoying with charm. Oh, now I think going. Might not even need that power charge. Okay, that's one of them definitely gone. Akihiko Rampage! That actually was a KO. And another one! <laughs> okay, yeah, seriously, this was, um... And now, you've been waiting for this. Let's do this. <laughs> Didn't even need the power charge. And that was overkill. I'll do my best until the very end. So yeah, that was the uh, Cupids. Balrog is not one of the personas I need, and I'm actually going to be going more for money this time. That was fast. Uh, good thing I still kept track of that. Only two pink feathers. Okay then. Hey, Thor leveled up. And with that, we get. Now this isn't totally necessary because I'm using more physical attacks on this Thor. But, uh, it's actually not a bad skill to have, and I do use Zeodyne sometimes. I mean, admittedly, I do have Odin. Yeah, admittedly, I do have Odin. Like, I don't want to get rid of that, obviously, but this, I don't really need that much. Everything else, I don't want to get rid of at all, though. And I don't really want Thor's final skill at all. Heavy Master, I just never use heavy weapons at all, so... I mean, that plus a 99 strength Thor plus um, Mjolnir would be ridiculous, but uh, I'm not going to go for that. So what do we got here? More, Yep, more Cupids. Okay, now I'm actually going to show what this looks like. This isn't power charge, but it's still probably going to do a lot. I didn't even need power charge to begin with. I had a feeling. So yeah, you'll see here that Spring of Life... And he has different quotes now. Here's chance. Let's get Sorry for interrupting that, because that was awesome. The Spring of Life helps fuel his physical attacks, as well as just help keep his HP high. Wow! Let's keep going. Yeah, so as always, after a Persona upgrade, um, Junpei's quotes have changed. Trispicus' animations are pretty cool. Like, in a lot of ways, it looks like just a palette swap of Hermes with just a few additions to it. But I love how its actual animations are quite a drastic difference. Just the way that it sort of, I don't know, like weaves in and out when it does that that attack that it just did there. It, it just looks pretty awesome. Okay, singular enemy, what are you? Okay, you're new. There's one enemy. This is actually kind of an interesting one. I'm just going to hit it for now. And it's probably going to die before I get the scan through. And every time Mitsuru says this ends now, I immediately think of INDIGNATION! Except, um, the quote there is this ends here. And, uh, yeah, goodbye. You see that, Shinji? So, funny thing about that enemy is that it actually has, um... I'm pretty sure that it has no weaknesses at all. But it's still not really all that threatening. Speaking of threatening, are you going to be threatening? Let's see. Okay, different camera angle, that means... Okay, these are new. There are two enemies. The red sigil. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Now, originally I was thinking that they would use fire so that I should switch to cert, and that actually might be true. Okay, whichever one I'm scanning, Give me a sec. I'll I'm going to hit the other one. I actually forget what these things are weak to. Suru is liking Mind Charge at the moment. It's generally only useful against bosses of all power. And of course, they are using fire! Oh, don't hit her again, please. Oh, no. Okay, wow. <laughs> you did the... Well, not the exact worst move you could have done, because that would have been hitting Gary Stu who drains that, but, uh... Yeah, okay, they're exactly what I expected. Weak to ice, use fire. They also have harmer, though. And dodge ice is pretty frustrating. Oh, Mitsuru, watch out for that. Oh, that's bad. 
Don't overdo it. Ah, uh, cough, shipping cough. Okay, Jin. Well. Okay, nice one. That's gonna give you a one more. Distress is actually pretty awesome. Uh, it, yeah, it greatly increases the critical chance of attacks directed at that enemy. So yeah, I'm gonna need to heal Mitsuru after this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and whack you. Ice is one of the few elements that I don't really have. Yeah, see that mind charge was totally pointless. And I think I can take the maid outfit off now. We've seen enough of it. Well, I mean, Gary Stu has not seen enough of it, because he can never see enough of it, but... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, switch that to the other new outfit of hers that I wanted to show, which is not that, to Gary Stu's dismay, but the summer outfit. Oh, uh, that's just the, um, the sort of, the, I don't know if you call that a tank top, but the, um... It's funny, al for almost every character, I like their casual winter outfits way more than their casual summer outfits. Like, I like Mitsuru's casual winter outfit quite a lot. Okay, that would be an exit point! Remember how I said that, uh, that rapiers have a good combination of range? Uh, and yeah, well, it's not the best. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Okay, let's hope this scan actually works this time. Actually, weird to see her with her arms uncovered. Such persistence. Definitely persistence. That thing uh, probably has like one HP left. That was not a crit though, because the camera is different for a crit. Watch it. Light will work yeah, so no weaknesses and immune to light, which is kind of bizarre, and they also have fire. A lot of things in this area are either... Not good enough. Well, that was lucky. They seem to like targeting the two with that. A lot of things in this area tend to be... Um, I think they, a lot of them use fire. There are actually a few things that are weak to fire in here. Basically, Junpei is quite good in this general area. I probably should have equipped it. Well, that was a critical. Mitsuru does not like being targeted with fire attacks. <laughs> wow, nice. And that was a kick with stilettos as well, which has to hurt. I completely misclicked that. I was going for the one directly to the left of it, but that's fine. Oh, you know, I should have gone for the double up. Uh, it might have, it might have had it the two personas that I need. Because the lore is they showed up during a practice run, which means they're definitely not going to show up in this this one. Okay. There are three of them. Kind of a odd combination, but oh well. Do I still have? Yes, I still have cert. Huh. You know what? I'm not Taru Kajan, but this is a good opportunity to show off Ragnarok. And game crash! I mean, not really. <laughs> yeah, very few people are going to get that because they have drastically improved Fire Emblem Gaiden's translation patch now. Because, yeah, earlier, not only was the character who in Japanese is known as Robin, who obviously is Tobin in the English version now for obvious reasons, but uh, it's better than in the fan translation, the early fan translation, where they were called Bird. Because they couldn't fit more than four characters in the name. So um, you had Bird, and then uh, Saber was like Sever, and then. Or Sever. And then, and then Clive, Clive was Clurb. Like, I mean, the Japanese isn't, I'm going on a really weird tangent here, but I guess it's kind of topical because Echoes. The Japanese wasn't like, wasn't directly what would correspond to Clive, but it's pretty obvious that, like, I mean, not so much obvious, but I feel like Clive was a very natural localization because, uh, yeah. Clee and Clurb definitely doesn't have the same ring to it as Claire and Clive. In fact, it's not Clee. It, it actually would have been Claire in the Japanese version. It would be, it would be Claire. And uh, it, it just looked like Clee because they couldn't fit the R in. Because, yeah, character limits. Anyway, uh, these things again, I don't feel the need to show this battle. It has Actually, wait, I might as well demo how Vorpal Blade now has half the cost. 
because I really don't care about these things, I'm just going to cheese them. Seriously, that damage. And one day, Junpei's going to have this skill too, which makes him even more amazing. Yes, okay, okay, as tempting as some of those options are, Dekaravu is one of the personas that I do need. Oh, great. Uh, yes, good, got it. So, that's good. I mean, I could just get it out of the compendium, but I'm going to save money this way. Now, the other persona that I need is something that can show up in shuffle time here that I actually don't have in my compendium yet. So we'll see if it shows up. Okay, what are you? You are not new. You're this set of enemies again. There are three enemies. Be careful. Ah so, yeah, I just realized that uh, Akihiko's Mazionga is really... Oh, hey, that sounds like a better thing for... I don't know if we already have one of those or not. I kind of lose track of Koromaru's armor sometimes because he's the only one who can use them. But that might be better than what we currently have. Oh, you're new. The Yoshin of Blood. Pretty ominous name, but it has a pretty ominous weakness. Like most of the Yotans, it is a gigantic wall of HP. So either you just keep hammering it with attacks and... Okay, that's nice. Yes, in 901 HP, but weak to instant death. Oh, great, it went immediately. Uh, okay, now in some cases, Infuriate is actually a good thing. Okay, Junpei's gonna go crazy now. Prepare for Junpei Goes Bananas! Oh, that was way less than I thought it would do. Wow, that was even worse than I thought it would do. Yeah, this thing is actually pretty, uh... Oh my god, uh, I... have... this. Okay, yeah, I probably should have spent this on die for me if I was going to be spending this much HP anyway, but uh, that's actually quite a lot of damage. A lot of people say that the severe tier elemental spells aren't worth it without the boost of amp skills, but I personally think they're alright for the most part. Uh, good. Wow, okay, that was on the person who's not enraged. Remember that enrage drastically lowers your defense, and now you critical. Dude, I gotta pull it together. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, Junpei's awesome, as always. Uh, I am running... Akihiko's actually running low on SP as well. But I actually meant that people are running low on HP here. Uh, I did not even notice you. Because that pillar blocked you. And you're another... You're, you're not. You're a sigil, okay. Or as Matthew Mercer would say, a sigil. Uh, you're going next and you could potentially hit Mitsuru, but at this point I don't really care. Of course, you hit Mitsuru! I shouldn't have said that. These things actually hit really hard. Good thing Junpei's here to sometimes absorb the attacks. Well, I mean, not literally absorb, but you know what I mean. Okay, that was actually kind of, uh, huh, do I dare? Garyasu does have Medea Rahan on Raphael. Now, I know I have it here. No, I mean, seriously, you have Medea Rahan. Why isn't it showing up in my list of, uh... Oh, well, I have items. That was weird, though. Okay, all healed. Let's keep moving. Railgun, which we already have. Might have a better ability, though. Oh! Okay, I, I have no idea why that hit. Oh, you're new. The Immoral Snake. Yeah, these the names of these enemies are getting even worse. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Uh I'm just gonna stand down. 
because I want to get the scan in. Akiko could just destroy it anyway, though. Let's see. I couldn't finish it off. It has multiple weaknesses. So, weak to both instant death and pierce, which means that I guess all Yukari is pretty good. But as always, it tends to be annoying with status ailments. Mainly, it will just try to use foul breath and make you more susceptible to being charmed. On its own, it's not that much of a threat, though. In fact, very little it can do can actually damage you. So, in fact, nothing it can do. Well, I mean, it can probably just like, use, use a standard attack, but. Uh, its status ailments really are that dangerous when it's alone. When other enemies are involved. Junpei is always the man. I don't think I have anywhere near enough pink feathers as well, so I'm going to try and do more of this. Uh, please give me something new. There are more enemies than just this available at this point in the game. I know that much. You know what, at times like this, I really wish that Red Wall existed in this game, because I really want to put something on Mitsuru to cover a fire weakness at this point, but there is no way that I can do that. I also realize that I haven't shown off Thorn yet. There are actually two things weak to win that can show up here, but neither of them have. That is also not one of the personas that I need. And eight weapon cards have really not liked me at all this playthrough, but uh, I'll... Ah, uh, composite bow, alright. Still find it weird that thing is just so such a high tier weapon in this game. When uh, in terms of ancient civilizations developing them, it was a pretty early invention. Oh, okay. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. So yeah, you might remember these things as bosses earlier. They are now regular enemies. And they are weak to wind, which I'm gonna hold off on at this point. Uh, do I have any... You know I probably should have mind charged last turn. I mean, I probably don't need to, but... So, I think this is going to prove the point. Yep, they are immune to Slash. They still have a lot of physical immunities. Only Strike works, and they repel electricity, but weak to wind. Vile Assault, Marziodyne, Power Charge, it's kind of like a watered-down version of their actual boss skill set, which is kind of interesting, because a lot of the bosses that show up later as regular enemies have incredibly different skill sets. I still love that animation. Chris McGuess has also had some really good animations in Persona 4 with Ultimax. Well, all of them felt content to just try and stab at us. Thankfully, Akiko has the one physical attack that actually does work on them. And he's probably gonna... Yeah, he's gonna hit the same thing. That's fine. So, normally I'd... Hmm, I've got both of these and regenerate and invigorate. So, this is probably... Well, I mean, this is a bazillion times more cost-efficient, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the cost-efficient option. I'll demo Panther Ray eventually. But yeah, totally more cost efficient because they instantly die to that anyway. Titania is also not what I need. Oh, that was completely wrong, yeah. I had a feeling that the, uh, the coin card was there. Anyway. Gonna keep moving on. Can't stick around to invert the lyrics of a certain song. So, I know exactly where the boss is. Once again, it's another interval of 10 floors, so it's on floor one, um, 190. So, we've got a little while to go, and why aren't there any enemies here? So, we've seen the Hell Knights. We have not seen the other Wind Week thing that's available, but you aren't it. However, this is probably an okay time to demo. Yeah, because a lot of the time I feel like these skills are actually more worth it against enemies that aren't weak to these elements, because enemies that are tend to die instantly to Magarodine anyway. Or at least get knocked down and die to the all out attack. So, here's Puntere. Pretty freaking powerful with both the boost and amp skills backing it. Okay, there's an 8 experience card there, which was not what I picked at all. Okay, let's see. Ran 
this is Brave again. Sorry if I sound slightly distracted. I've got people um, doing gardening in my house at the moment, so uh, just keeping an eye on them sometimes. And are you... you're still these things. Some of them I don't think I mentioned before in the, in the battle. Originally, I wasn't sure I should say this because I wasn't sure exactly what these things were called in Japanese, but I think they are in fact called Jikoku no Kishi, or Jikoku Kishi, uh, which is like literally Hell Knight. But the thing is, that's actually, I don't know if this is deliberately a pun or not, but I know that it is actually just a few syllables off. That is the one that I do need. Sorry to get distracted, but, okay. One. One again. Gimme. I can't really pronounce the thing's name, but it's the it's the weird horse demony thing. <laughs> My skills have improved. I need that one. So anyway, uh, there, it's just a few letters off of Shikoku no Kishi, which is Black Knight, or There's more enemy. definitely what the Black Knight is called in the Japanese versions of the Fire Emblem games. It's literally like Jet Black Knight, but I mean you get the idea. My skill level has increased. Got a few level ups here, but uh, we are far from done. Because there's one level up that I do want. Let's check how close we are to it. Uh, 6,000. Pretty much 7,000. Quite a way off. And this floor layout's getting pretty confusing. Have I even seen the stairs here? Not yet. That's also a dead end. So, let's see. With how dark this place is, it's kind of reminded me of that dark, uh, the dark ruiny area that I, uh, you know I should probably just climb the stairs. Uh, the dark ruiny area that I recently just got done going through in Breath of the Wild. There is still one enemy type that we haven't seen here yet. And, uh, random segue, uh, at least this isn't Breath of the Wild where you have to photograph every single enemy type. That'd be kind of funny if you had to photograph the shadows like that. Invigorate 3, every little bit helps. Now, in these cases, I actually kind of do like to do this. Actually, I there's no reason not to do this, because that thing's not immune to this, so... Eat Vicious Strike. It can be a little inaccurate sometimes, but... Of all things, I did not expect the knight to be the one that would die instantly to that. That was kind of strange. Okay, so we you again, okay. I'm gonna pick up the money this time, I think. Uh I think that was one. Thank you, I actually guessed right that time. Let me check how many pink feathers we have. I think we need six of those. So let's go ahead and check. After we get through all of this stuff. Uh we need one more. It's funny, these things are being a little bit stingy about dropping the pink feathers. You can theoretically get a full set of them in just a couple of battles. And it's annoying because the any remainder are useless because they don't sell for much. Hi there again. There are two enemies. Uh, I think I'll go for the money again this time. Maybe not actually. Maybe yes. Okay, just a chest there. Come on, I know you can show up here. This other one, uh, nope. There are three of them. No, two first. snakes in the night. That's a combination that I don't think I've seen before. Okay. In this case, I kind of feel like those things aren't immune to wind, are they? It has multiple weaknesses. They are. Okay then. There are three enemies that left. means this is not the most efficient option then. Ridiculous overkill, yeah. You've improved. But now I can. Uh, I don't think it's it's worth spending the SP on die for me. I think I'd rather just um, use some HP on physical attacks. You know I'm gonna go for Deathbound just because. No crits, dang it. I was hoping for crits there. Okay, that's annoying. I think Junpei does have a Pierce attack in his uh, repertoire, but he isn't there. You're unworthy of my time. <laughs> Pretty awesome. And I should probably give Mitsuru her regular armor back now. Now that 
they've shown off those outfits. I forget whether... Huh. Just realised. Uh, don't need any of those. Uh, that was Kakal's vestment. Okay. Vestment. Anyway, let me just check something. I think I got another outfit for Junpei. Don't know if I've shown it off yet. Ah, uh, yeah, we have summer outfit Junpei. Which, I don't really like this one very much. Yeah, not really. And what do we have? I think I have another outfit for you. Again, I'm not sure if I've shown these off before, but... Oh, you also have that. I don't really feel comfortable with getting rid of plus 30 SP, though. Yeah, that would set it back quite a bit. Because unlike other stat boosts, that, that immediately goes. Like, you just flat out lose 30 SP if you de-equip that. So, not good when you're in the middle of a Tartarus expedition, and you're still not wanting to give me the enemy I want. Watch out! There are four enemies! Not for long, it isn't. But careful, the enemy is going to wait. Never mind. Oh no! Oh, if only that had hit Mitsuru, that would have been great irony. I believe he's got Diarahan at this point, so let's finish the battle before he gets a chance to screw us over. Oh, there's, um... I think that one's... La is that one Lachesis? And I totally, while I was mentioning that, lost track of the cards and accidentally got Lachesis, so I confirmed that it is in fact Lachesis, and I was right, but, uh, at what cost? I gave up on experience. That was bizarre. I'm just going to go ahead and heal a bit now. Probably going to have to get rid of Lachesis quickly. I, um, like, I, I do have a few spots for fusion fodder, but... Aha! This is the new thing that I wanted to show. So I think with this, we've seen everything that can appear in this area. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Power Castle. Now, the interesting thing about castle enemies, I don't know if this is the first castle we've seen or not, but they almost always are weak to wind. But I'm going to let the scan go through first. Or Gary's going to get a crit. Uh, I'm just going to wait. Please just scan the other one so I can finish these things quickly. There we go. Strong against fire, though. So, yeah. Kind of a weird set of moves that it's got. But level 61, too. That's actually kind of high. But, yeah, it is pretty much like any time you see a castle. In fact, and it's standard attack is strike element. I still like how it fights this parent like that. But pretty much any time you see a castle enemy in both this or Persona 4, I would say in any Persona game, but uh, 5 uses a different uses different enemies, you can be pretty much 99% sure they're going to be weak to win. It's weird. They pretty much always are. And it's also pretty hilarious when you use wind, because the wind just comes up from under them and just knocks them up in the air and go like, whoop! Let's keep going! Okay, I think that's enough of Junpei's summer outfit. I don't want to be using suboptimal sub equipment for too long. So, because some of the enemies here are hitting us pretty hard. I don't think anyone here has even tried to use Wind on Junbei. What the heck is up? This might just be the longest single corridor I've seen in the Tartarus area, and I almost missed you, but there is a gold chest there. Thankfully, no katana requests for this area. Very there thankfully. Three enemies. Be careful. You guys immune to win? No, you're not. Okay, Magarodine it is then. And everything just flat out died. And for some reason, the things that weren't weak to win took as much damage as the thing that was. 
But yeah, that's the power of boost and amp stacking. I think this might be the first time I'm showing this, but yes. Some people don't realize that boost and amp stack, but they do. So you get the 25% boost and the 50% boost. Soul Blade? Huh. That's not the sword that Wildheart had in Awakening, is it? Plus 40 SP and better than what we currently have? Yes, please. That is a double SP boost for Garry's through. That is really great. So I want to see what we're doing in, uh, as far as the levels go. I mean, how we're doing. Uh, Junpei still needs to catch up. Keeping Norn on for a couple of battles and just rushing through them is a good source of getting a little bit of extra SP back. Wow, two rare chests on one floor. Of course this happens when I don't specifically need one for a request. Okay, you are more of these things. There are three of them. Strike first. Hmm, how much are you gonna take from Magarodine? Is this also gonna kill everyone? Almost! Don't let your guard down. So yeah, that's the thing about Norn. Norn is, like, Norn literally can only do one thing, win spells. But it does that one thing... Nice one. Does that one thing very... And they were both exactly the same. Which is actually not a bad thing, because the one regret I had about giving that to Gary Stu was that I didn't get to give it to Mitsuru. Uh, let me just check something. Uh, is that... It is also... Yeah, it's always plus 40 SP. Nice. Okay, then. Mitsuru will really like that. Yeah, she really should appreciate that. That was actually pretty lucky. Uh, having two of those is actually quite good, because Mitsuru really appreciates that extra SP. Uh, might as well fight you. You're probably Cupid's. There aren't many other enemies in this area that show up in such large numbers. Well, it's half right. Watch out! There are four enemies! Wait, I'm an idiot! I was just like, duh, Magaro died everything again, but yeah, then that thing. <laughs> ah, yeah, he does have pierce skills. And it missed completely. I don't think you're gonna get a chance to actually use that. Uh oh. Okay, if that had hit Mitsuru, that would have been really ironic because she wouldn't have had a chance to use it at all. Uh, I'm gonna try and give that mind charge a purpose. I might not though. Okay, because if this hits, uh, if I say no, Junpei's gonna kill it anyway. So that mind charge did not have a purpose, sadly. Dude, you gotta pull it together. Yeah, Mitsuru, you have to pull it together and start realizing that mind charge is usually only worth it against bosses. Because battles with normal enemies tend to just go by too quickly for it. For I mean, if you were just using normal spells every turn, you'd generally be better off. So we're actually halfway through. Although we're getting to the point where that was close. Where I've seen most of the enemy time, so I'm just mostly being able to skip these battles. Just a random thought that I had. Something tells me the only si uh, sigil you ever see. I, was, I almost said it like Matthew Mercer. The only sigil you ever see in Persona Q is the blue one. I don't think I remember seeing the red ones there. And hi there, Purple Shadow. You are still Moon Idols, which is stupid. There are two of them. Attack! It has multiple two enemies left. Can I Magaru death these as well? I wouldn't be surprised if I could. Yes, I can! <laughs> Norn has become the new Siegfried. You know what? I could use Luxme. It's an Empress persona, we'll actually be needing one of those soon, and I don't want to uh Although I'm gonna have to get rid of her anyway if um I'm gonna need to get rid of you. But 
if I go for the other level 64 persona that I want, but... Uh, at least you'll be cheaper to resummon than a Luxme that I create myself. Just have to quickly turn around there to stab that thing before it hit me. Let's see. Oh, more of you. There are five enemies. Yeah, it's generally pretty easy to get all the feathers you need. And maybe get a chance to show off Thor's Herculean Strike, which is you nowhere near as good as Thor's. The enemy's down. Let's finish this. On account of Thor not even having Vision oh, Strike, having uh, well, Herculean Strike, having Vision Strike. I mix them up, but anyway, you get the idea. Good job. That's another Empress Persona. I'm pretty sure, but I think, yeah, I'm sure Luxme is better. You know I might as well get you. You're not in the compen uh, in my compendium. Hmm. I need to keep you two, but uh, you know what? I don't care about throne at all. So, because I don't think I can use throne to make anything that I need. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and just have another thing in my. I don't know if it would have gone to my compendium anyway if I'd refused it, but I'm guessing not. So I'm gonna take it just in case. So we're almost there. And I completely missed the part where Fuka told us where the boss was, because I already knew. Uh, I'm guessing you're also more cupids. I don't know if that's really worth my time or not. Oh, cupids and the snake. I, I thought it would be cupids and the snake. Something Watch told out. me that it would be cupids and the snake. All out attack? Oh, sadly it doesn't. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go for money again. And I completely lost track of. Hey, I got the experience anyway, which I actually also wanted. How close are we to level 64? Very! Should you only be one more battle? Probably not with you though. You're you look like you're too small. Let's see. Oh, I had I was I was wanting it to be a Yosu. Yeah, not enough. Like I thought so. So what's <laughs> My skills have improved. It was enough for someone, though. More killer cleats. I'll have to check later how good those are. Well, you should be enough, hopefully. Uh, you know, I thought you'd be another one. one enemy. And that. Okay, okay, how, how, how off am I? I dread to know. Third. Okay, at least it wasn't two or one. Like, at this point it might as well be, but I was... I, I had a feeling it was going to be like one or something. But yeah, no. Well, this is certainly going to be enough. Two of you. Uh, um, hmm. Magaro Death, maybe. Which is what I'm going to call that now. No shadows detected. I forget, do I have Kurama Tengu? Well, I definitely didn't suddenly gain it. And there's level 64, which is what I wanted. Well, I would say and needed. I mean, it's not strictly needed at this point. My skill level has increased. Oh, Mitsuru got one too, nice. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Of course I would. It seems to worth quite a lot of experience. Like, what's the level now that I think about it? There are two enemies. 
It has multiple weaknesses. 63, okay, they're still much higher than us. That will not save them from Maguru death, though! I am so glad I got both the boost and ham skills on this thing. I know I have that persona, because I got it in an accident. Getting a few more of these gems, too. I might want to go to the antique store at some point. Okay, not going to say no to a free chest, and also free money. And I'm going to get out of here soon. Okay, we're over a million again. That's good. We'll also be getting almost two-thirds of a million, which would be, uh, yeah, thanks to that request that gives us 65, uh, 650,000 from getting the last old document, but that's not going to be for a little while later, and are you also Cubans? Let's see. You are! No shadow Double triple eights there, that, that's kind of weird. Oh, hello there, curse card. Which would be, um... You're not a very effective curse card, where not only is there... Another card there that's even better than you, but a card that's the same as you, but not curse. Hmm, that... What? Why did you... Yeah, that was stupid. I did not expect it to run right at me. I had no idea why it did that, but yeah. Attack. Hmm. I wonder what our answer to actually wait a minute. You know, I might as well do this. Even though Magaru Death is considerably cheaper. And this could also fail, by the way. Enemy yeah, I've had this miss enemies that are weak to it before, and it just did then. Well, uh, okay, I didn't expect that. Don't think I had you anyway. Well, I guess now I can test to see if it shows up in my compendium. But anyway, uh, what was I, oh, I was gonna say there? Oh yes, in practice, I have actually had die for me, miss a Yotun of blood. You know, weird thing is, as long as I've played this game for, I actually don't know exactly what the multiplier for the percentage is for enemies weak to light and dark. Like, I actually have no idea. Because I know that Die For Me is supposed to be 80% on enemies that are not, like, are neutral towards it. So, what would that be on things weak to it? You'd think it would be, like, 95 at the very least. But that doesn't seem like that big of an increase. I totally agree with Mitsuru when she says that all the enemies here are unworthy of her time. Okay, that gets Junpei relatively caught up with the rest of the party. Yeah, he is 55 now, which means he now has Gigantic Fist! Which is only really notable for having the highest crit rate of all the strike skills, which is not saying something because it's still pretty low. Oh, you, you're back, finally. Because I'm close to the end anyway, I just want to know. I haven't even shown what Norn's wind attacks look like with mine charge, by the way. One enemy left. Okay, 540 is compared to... Uh, because I know this will kill you anyway. 381. That is a pretty considerable increase. And, like, against a single enemy, it's only a couple of SP more, so against single enemies, it's always better to use Pantaray, but against multiple enemies, it's usually much more efficient to use the multi-targeting one. Uh, you know what I think? I think we're fine here. I think we can just leave. Because we're at the boss floor. Finally, we only have a single boss, so, uh, yeah, I was about to say let's just hope it won't be quite as pathetic as Chidori's boss fight was, but it actually kind of is. Yeah, I practiced this boss and, um, well, um, 
Well, admittedly, I did get a crit Vorpal Blade, which did over a thousand damage, but still, it's not exactly that threatening. Okay, now's a good time to check if that Titanium Dog Suit is full. I am not talking to you, Igus! Why does she always... That's weird, it's like her talk hitbox extends quite a big way in this direction. We definitely do not have the Titanium Dog Suit, okay. I actually like plus three strength on Koromaru better than plus three agility, though. His agility is already absurdly high as it is, and he does need more strength. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and save here, and then we'll be going into the Velvet Room for some fusion, and uh, maybe even one particularly special fusion. Well, actually, we'll be fusing an ultimate regardless, and possibly another ultimate, so they're both equally special. And I need to leave. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to have to plan this out a little bit, but... I'm also going to have to get Mott, I just realised. So, I'll have to just... Off camera, after I save, I'm going to do some planning. But when we're back here... Oh boy, it's time. It's time for some... Pretty awesome personas. Well, one pretty awesome persona and one that's skill sets all over the place. I should just stop talking now. <laughs>